Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coast Cooking, coming at you. Getting out my hunt sack of the day. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what I'm gonna do. One of my favorite things to cook is beef ribs. My buddy Nate down at the corn market bush down there hooked me up with some really beautiful beef ribs. Uh, I've already trimmed the kind of fat cap off the top. I'm gonna show you about the back. On the back of beef ribs, there's no real use in just taking all the time and trying to get that membrane off there. What I suggest is just just cross hatch them, you know what I'm saying? But I like that. They're with a knife and just, I mean, go through there like that. Because, I mean, there's no meat on the back of the rib. I mean, you're just wasting a bunch of time if you want to. I mean, you could just get the membrane off if you want to, but I've never really seen any point in it. So I've always just kind of cross hatch you know, the back of these beef ribs, just like that. Okay. All right. So uh, now we're going with a uh, seasoning for these. We can get the back first, I guess. Uh, we got my buddy over here, man. He makes this 30 minute marinade. Stuff is absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna use this as a binder and a, a kind, of, kind of a flavoring on these ribs. Put a little bit here on the back, just to, just as a binder, y'all. Just not much, but get some of this here on the back. And uh, put a little bit of seasoning on the back. You always want to get the front and back of your ribs, you know, whatever kind of ribs you're cooking. So we'll get that going there. All right, now with these, uh, shoot for the back of these, I'm, I've got some of this garlic, black garlic salt right here. Let me show you all from uh, Black Gold. There's some really good stuff. I'm gonna put a little bit of this here on the back. It's garlic uh, salt, basically, with a little bit of black garlic mixed in. Really, really good stuff, y'all. I'm telling you. But that's all we need here on the back, really. Just seasoning right down in there. All right. I'll flip them over here. Look at this nice, beautiful beauty side here. Get this trimmings off of here. I'm um, gonna get a good little layer of this uh, marinade on the top. And you could let this sit overnight if you want to. I, I wasn't able to do that last night. But I'm just gonna let it sit about 30 minutes. It's called 30 minute marinade, great stuff. Man, I'm telling you what, man, these beef ribs are just freaking phenomenal. I love these beef ribs. Mm, mm, mm. So we pour all this on there. Get good marinade on there on the top, and then we'll come in with some of the. Uh, now on the on the on the top part, I want to put a little of the sullies. Really good stuff right here. This seasoning right there. And that stuff's awesome on beef. A little smoky flavor to it. I'm gonna go ahead and put that layer of sullies down there. Mm -hmm. Then we'll go with that black garlic salt. Okay. Good first. And then pick with that black garlic salt. Size here too. I didn't even think about that. You're biting one of them bad boys. Make sure you get the full flavor all over the place. All right, got these going here. Now I'm gonna let these rest here for a little bit. We'll fire up the hunt stack, y'all. Let y'all out here at the hunt stack. We're about to hang these ribs. Y'all come on in close. Watch what I'm gonna do here. Got my little hanging rack in here. It'd be good to have the, um, this is the rib rack I'm using, I believe it's called. Oh, what's going on? Got my tip probe stuck on my foot. All right, so we'll hang this here. I'll hang my other one. Put one on the side. All right, so there we go. 
Let that roll, cooking about 275 or so. We'll check back in a couple hours. Well, the beef ribs have been smoking here for about three hours, about 275. I want y'all to see how beautiful they look right now. Look at this. They're 165 internal. That's just what I was looking for. Just look down there. Hopefully y'all can see that. And look at that beautiful beef rib. I'm going to take them out now. I'm going to wrap them. And then we'll put them back in there and let them go. And put a little beef broth and wrap them in foil, okay? A little beef broth and a little bit of butter. I'm about to get them out to get wrap them. I want y'all to take a look at how beautiful they are. Oh, shit. Look at that beautiful rib right there. Is that nice? Oh. Got that one there. Other one on here. Figure out and take the probe out of it. Alright. That's gorgeous right there. Got a beautiful color on it. That's what I'm talking about. Now we'll go inside and wrap them. Also, I got them all wrapped up, hung back in there. We'll let them go for another hour or so and be taking some temps. Y'all, so they've been wrapped, cooking for about three hours. We've reached about 190 so degrees in there. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and we are going to sauce them put them back on there okay y'all check them out here they're just showing up down in there all wrapped up hanging okay we'll take them out put them in the pan unwrap them oh man my string almost broke <laughs> all right go get them sauced inside Bring them right back out here. So let's get a little bit of sauce on them. Mm. Don't taste pretty. I'll come on over here. You can see everything. Oh, it's just tender as can be. That bone actually fall off of that one. Fell off of it earlier. bone just for little color I guess <laughs> all right that looks good let it firm up a little bit all right y'all we're about to take them off get them inside we'll cut into them see what they like man some good looking ribs y'all all right y'all there's some absolutely beautiful beef ribs here y'all check them out and we'll cut into them we're gonna try Look at that, let's cut this little, little one off over here. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Mm. Is that not lovely? Oh my goodness. Now let's go ahead and just cut a little piece off the taste of that. All right? Stuff is so look, juicy. I mean, amazing. Mmm. Mmm. That's the stuff right there. No, you gotta try this. So good on the Hunseka beef ribs. Yeah. Thank y'all so much. God bless. Please give me a thumbs up, like my videos. So much, you know. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna get to eat serving the family there. That's some good stuff.